The high-low welding gauge is a multi-purpose and versatile gauge. As with many of our gauges, both standard and metric units of measurements are available directly on the gauge for dimensional verification. With the high-low gauge, you can measure internal misalignment after fit-up, material thickness after fit-up, verify 37 and 1 half degree bevel angle, fit-up gap after fit-up, fillet weld leg length, and finally, butt weld reinforcement. We'll start with an internal misalignment measurement. First, loosen the locking screw and insert the gauge tip into the fit-up gap. Now, rotate the gauge 90 degrees and slide the gauge body until it comes in contact with the outside diameter of the pipe. This verifies that the gauge is square and the reading is correct. Next, pull down the gauge until the internal alignment stops are snug against the inside of the pipes. Read the misalignment on this scale. This misalignment measures 332nd of 1 inch. You can use the same procedure to measure pipe wall thickness after fit up. To measure pipe wall thickness, use the material thickness indicator and this scale. This pipe measures 332nd of 1 inch. This gauge can also be used to verify a 37 and 1 half degree bevel angle. To check bevel angle, be sure to set the alignment scales to the zero position. Now, place the gauge body squarely against the pipe wall and push the gauge as far as it will go into the fit up gap. If the beveled shoulders on the gauge fits snug against the bevel on the pipe end, you have the correct 37 and 1 half degree bevel common to most pipe end preps. To measure fit up gaps less than 1 16th of an inch, insert the alignment stops into the fit up gap. If the thinner portion of the gap does not fit, then the gap is less than 1 16th of 1 inch. If it partially fits in the gap, then the gap is somewhere between 1 16th of 1 inch and 3 30 seconds of 1 inch. Finally, if the stops go through the gap, then the gap is larger than 3 30 seconds of 1 inch. To measure fillet weld leg length, place one leg of the gauge on the plate and lower the other leg to the toe of the weld. Read the actual fillet weld leg length from this scale. This leg length reads one half of one inch. A similar procedure can be used to measure butt weld reinforcement. Place one leg of the gauge on the plate and lower the other leg to the top of the butt weld. Again, Read the measurement from this scale. This measurement reads one quarter of one inch. This high-low welding gauge is available individually from GAL Gauge Company, or it is included in our complete set of gauges available in our briefcase type large toolkit.